Hey mates, this is Cherpo again with GIMP. Let's see how we can create an animated GIMP brush. An animated brush is such that it is constantly changing. Let's create uh, a new image first, like so. And now create a new layer. Now just draw in the contents of the brush. Uh, I think I'm going to create a some kind of bubble, bubbly brush here. So I'm going to use a blue color and just uh, draw in a couple of bubbles on this layer. Then I'm going to create a new layer and uh, add some bubbles there, like so. Let's make a three. Uh, another new layer. Add some more bubbles. Add a small one here. And a fourth one. You can use as many layers as you want. I'm just going to use four on this tutorial. Like so. Uh, now as you can see the bubbles are all in uh, different layers and uh, these are going to be making up the animation of the GIMP brush. Uh, next I'm going to erase the background layer altogether, just delete it like so. And uh, the brush is basically ready, we'll just need to save it. So file save as You'll have to find the GIMP installation directory and uh, there should be a subdirectory named brushes. That's where you'll want to save this. I'm going to name this bubbles. And then this is important. You'll need to select file type on the lower border here. There should be a GIMP brush animated. There it is. Just select it and click Save. It'll ask you a few questions still. Uh, there's the spacing, which is a percentage of the brush width, meaning uh, it will splatter a new image after the cursor has moved this much. I think I'll use 90%. Uh, here you can write in the description. Uh, that's okay for me. And the number of cells is basically the number of layers you have here. So I have a four. Uh, dimension and ranks are uh, related to how GIMP loads these uh, loads these layers. The rank, uh, I'm just going to use a simple configuration here. So I'm just using a one one dimension grid. Uh, so it's basically a line line of images and uh, the ranks is the length of that dimension and because I had four layers here I'm going to use uh, four ranks also. Uh, this attribute here defines how the in which order the layers are drawn. Uh, they can be drawn completely random order or incremental meaning that uh, the topmost will go first and then it comes down and jumps back up. And there's also angular and pressure velocity sensitivity. But uh, I'll just use the random here. Okay, then just click Save and the animated brush is ready. Let's just test it. Create a new image like so. And uh, I'm just going to select Paintbrush and uh, select the brush type. Unfortunately we can't see the new brush right away. We'll have to refresh this uh, brush, brush selection window. But there's a button on the lower right corner here. Okay, and I think this is the one. Yes, VR bubbles. Uh, as you can see this is quite a large brush right now, but that's no problem. We can uh, scale it down here. I think I'm going to use a 0 0.2 for size. And then just uh, have fun brushing bubbles anywhere you want. 
This is especially useful if uh, you find yourself uh, drawing same Im image or same kind of image over and over again. Create a brush and uh, that can really speed up your work. Alright, I think that's all I have to say about uh, GIMP animated brushes. Uh, if you're interested, be sure to check out GIMP homepages. They have quite a good tutorials there also. Alright, thanks for listening.